Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is I, Will Miller, owner of Mad City Crochet. Now, I know you're looking at me right now going, what in the heck is on his face? Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's supposed to be my first gas mask that I've ever made. But as you can see, I didn't use a pattern because there's really not many good patterns out there right now to crochet a gas mask. So, I improvised. Basically went off of uh, what I could tell other people have done and here's what I came up with. So, things that you can notice. The eye holes are extremely big. I could fix that. Um, they kind of puff out a little bit. Other thing, doesn't really sit well on my head. There's kind of extra space. Yeah, yeah. Big gap here. Uh, the canisters are also way off on the side like gills. And uh, this looks like a, you know, Dumbo trunk. It's like I'm a elephant. Mm -hmm. But uh, whatever, you know, first time. Not always a charm. Rarely ever is a charm. Uh, so that's the uh, front and side and back. And anyways, the uh, the things that I did wrong on this one, I looked at, considered, I uh, adjusted, and uh, tried to make a second one. So here's the second mask that I made. As you can see, much better fitting. The eye holes are way more accurate. Um, I don't really feel as much like I'm wearing a mask because they just basically go right around the outside of my eyes. See everything all around me. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is the canisters are much closer together. There's only like a little bit of room between them. I'll do it sideways for you. Uh, uh, not bad. And then here we go. Spin it around, get the back. Not bad. A little thick here. Next one I make, I think I'm going to try to make it only half as tall on the back. You know, more like the uh, the frog style uh, looking gas masks that I've seen that are more rubbery. So, anyways, those are the gas masks I've made. And then to finish off my uh, video today, I'm going to show you the Deadpool mask that I made a long time ago. I actually took down some of the black in the eyes, but anyways, again, first mask I ever made, ever, so it's going to look kind of goofy kind of perfect for Halloween because you know if I don't want to be Deadpool I can be whoever doesn't matter as you can see though the, uh, the eyes aren't too bad I, I got them right at the spot I wanted up here but I didn't I didn't quite get the shape that I wanted for like normal Deadpool eyes um, I did though make it kind of come in a little bit make more of a cowl I guess you would call it so I could tuck it in to a shirt put a hoodie over top and when I do that, you get more of the Deadpool feel, you know? Duh. Doesn't look so goofy. I mean, I guess the only other thing I could do right now is uh, go through and put some white all through here. Um, obviously, the issue with that is I can't see then. So maybe I'll just do like one or two rows of it, maybe a little more on the bottom, and just kind of keep this area open because that's where I can, you know, see. So yeah, having some fun make some masks if any of you guys are interested in them please feel free to check out all of the places that I am advertising them uh, first and foremost Mad City Crochet on Facebook I also have a Twitter and Instagram account at Mad City Crochet and um, at the bottom here is my Etsy site where I am selling most of my products so once again, thank you for watching the video today. Hope you have a great Saturday afternoon. And, uh, yeah. Ed City Crochet! Ow!